Hi everyone, it's Ray with the Education Team for Super Leaders Kit Club, and welcome to my tutorial on paper layering. Basically, what I'm going to share with you are just a few tips and tricks to add more paper to your layouts, which is going to add more dimension and give it a more completed look, if you will. And I just want to say before we get started that most of what I'm going to say is my personal opinion. Um, other people have the same opinions, I'm sure. But we all know that there's no right or wrong to scrapbooking. And if you don't feel like you have to load up your pages in order to make them feel completed, then that's wonderful. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I personally admire people that can create layouts with negative space. It's just not how I create my pages most of the time. So with that being said, let's get started. I think the best way to talk about paper layering is to just make a layout. So that's what I'm going to do. This is the sketch I'm going to use. We got this in one of our kits a couple of years ago. And what I like best about it is that it's really basic, it's really pretty, and it's a great starting point. I think there's a lot of things that you can do with this. You can keep it just as it is, which is what I'm going to do first. And then we're going to add some more things to it to give, well not things, paper to just give it more of a completed look. So when I make a layout, I have basically two goals in mind. And the first one is, is that I'm gonna go for my completed look. I don't wanna look at my layout and say, oh, I could have added something here or there, or whatever. I want it to look, well, full. But the other thing I also wanna do is I want to make sure that my picture remains the focal point in the layout. And this is the picture I'm going to use. And so it's kind of a balancing act. I want to add a bunch of junk to my page, but I also don't want to lose my picture in the layout because obviously this is the most important thing that I love about the layout. It's why I'm doing it, and so it's the picture. So it is the balancing act. And the thing about the picture is, and I know some people don't scrapbook like this, but I do. I have to have the picture in front of me first in order to decide what I what I'm going to add, what colors I'm going to use, and basically how busy is my layout going to be. So the picture pretty much dictates um, what kind of paper I'm going to use. So I'm going to talk about that just a little bit. Um, the first thing is the colors. And you can see in this picture there's some browns, creams, kind of a whitish color. There's also the blues that are in the shirt. I like that. I The um, brown eyes, brown hair, the darkness of the Christmas tree. There's some lights that kind of has a reddish hue to them. Um, I'm going to try to incorporate all of those inside of a layout using this sketch. So I have the colors picked out. And you can see with these colors is they are incorporated from the picture and they're pretty basic. So I've got the creams and the browns right here and I also have the blue and all of these, I would say, are not very busy patterns because I don't really want them to be busier than the picture. I want the picture to stand out. There are some papers in the kit that we got that I'm using these papers from that actually have all of the colors that I'm going to be using. And I'll just kind of show you this, this piece of paper here. It has everything that I'm looking for in my individual pieces, but you can see if I were to put that on there, I don't know about you, but that just, it makes me crazy. There's too much going on on the paper and there's too much going on in the picture and I think it would just get lost the more stuff I add. The, I mean, he's not gonna look like he's the focal point. I am gonna use this paper layer later, but you'll see how that works. So, I'm going to look at the sketch. I've already done all of my cutting just to save time here. And I have a couple of embellishments that I thought I would use because they have those things on the sketch too. So I kind of wanted to make it look as exact to the sketch as I can, giving my own personal touch with what, with, with what works with the picture. And so... Here's how I'm going to do it. I want the circle to go here. And looking at the sketch, 
my paper is a little short, but I've already used this paper for something else, so that's the longest piece that I had. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use that for the photo mat right here. And I am taking a couple of liberties with the sketch. You can see I've flip-flopped it. I don't think the picture would look good on this side because he's looking this way. I want him to be looking and still be on the layout. It just kind of looks funny to me, so that's just my personal choice there. So I'm flip-flopping it. And I also have a vertical picture instead of a horizontal. I mean, there's really nothing I can do about that. That's the picture I wanted to use, and this is the sketch, so I'm just making some accommodations there. So I've got my circle, and I've got my long piece, and I've got my picture. And there's this area right here. It looks like it's a stamp, but I'm just going to put a piece of paper there for now just to kind of see. Move that up here a little bit. Just to kind of see how to follow the sketch. And I think it would look good with one flower. Move some of these little swirls because that's what's in the sketch. And pretty much that would be complete. It has all of the layers that are in the sketch, but I think I can do a lot more. And so I'm going to come back in just a minute and show you some pieces of paper that I added. So I took a look through all of my papers that I had that came in this kit to see what I could do to add some more layers. And this is what I came up with first. I know I want to keep this blue. I, I love it, but I want to add some more layers. And there's a couple of different ways I could do that. Um, I could cut this into still keeping it a square, just cutting some up off of the edges. I could distress it. I could maybe take a border punch and do that and then put another layer underneath it. Um, but what I thought I would do, because I really liked this sheet of paper that came in the kit, I liked the shape. It doesn't work with the design at all. You can see that there's a lot of stuff on this side of the page, and if I were to put that on there, it would just, it wouldn't look good. So what I did is I took another piece of the blue paper and I traced it out. So this is just a traced out, and of course I inked and distressed it. And I'm going to put all my stuff on there. So I'm going to add some layers to the back of that. And here's the paper that I showed you before that has pretty much every color that is in the layout. I'm going to cover that up. So I just ruffle cut that and distressed it and inked it, of course. And he needs another layer, so I'm going to use the brown sheet of paper that I cut that circle out of and already I feel like this is on um, its way to completion it just looks so much better to me I love the layers but I still think I could do more with it and I don't think I'm going to use that sheet of paper I think I'm going to use some lace for that part take these off I want to add more okay so I've got my circle on there and now this piece of paper right here doesn't look like it's too short because it's fitting right there on the edge and I'm liking that so when I was looking at it I thought I want more red because I want to draw out the lights of the Christmas tree for my picture so I'm gonna add this piece of paper and if you're thinking well how did I know what size to cut I really didn't I was just looking just trying to see what would look good and I cut that out and I liked it so I'm keeping it so I wanted to add another layer it's the same color but again I just ruffle cut and distressed it and what I mean by ruffle cut is I just took my scissors and just made a wavy motion and then distressed it I can't really I don't even remember where I got that from it's not my idea but I got it from somewhere a long time ago, and I really like the look of it, so I'm going to keep that. So it's pretty much all I'm going to do with paper. I'm still going to add my other elements to 
the sketch. I'm going to put those back on there. I don't really like that, so I'm going to add some lace. Probably let's go about right there. And I'll cut that later. And I still want my big flower. Christmassy. And I want to add these because they came in the kit and I think it will just give more of a Christmassy look to it. I still want my paper to show through right there. And pretty much I'm going to cut off that lace. I'm going to add my title. I could still add these in somewhere. Add my title right there and I'd fiddle around with it a little more. Um, not too many things for paper but I would probably do some faux stitching around here and maybe some rhinestones or something along the, the circle. I'm going to fiddle around with the placement a little bit. And you can see that this has a lot more to offer than just the basic sketch. This is just my starting point. So just to recap, we went from this layout using this sketch and added a bunch more layers, trying to keep in mind the whole time we want to keep our focus on the picture and make sure we're pulling colors out of the picture to make to make a more completed layout so hopefully you um, learned a couple of things or will kind of remember these things and keep them in mind when you're trying to add more layers and if you like this tutorial, we have a ton more tutorials on our website. Go to swirlydoos.com and in the tutorial section you'll find all sorts of video to to tutorials and photo tutorials if you ever wanted to learn how to make flowers or anything like that. We have a lot of good resources there, so I hope you go and check it out.